Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to remove and replace the driver's front window regulator on this 2000 Mercury Grand Marquis. Um, obviously, it's the same as the passenger side. This is also similar for the Ford Crown Victoria, although on some years, uh, removing the door panel may be a little bit different of a procedure. Tools you'll need are a flat blade screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, a hammer and punch, a drill with a 3 8 drill bit, 11 millimeter socket with a ratchet, and needle nose pliers. Start with a flat blade screwdriver. Carefully pry up your uh, switch panel here in the front. Then I just kind of pull back and forth and pull, I'm pulling up with this hand and just kind of shaking it back and forth. It comes up and out. And then again with your flat blade screwdriver, pry up here and take off your mirror switch um, and then make sure you can kind of move these connectors then there's little just little tabs that lock that don't lock them on okay kind of move that one pry up on the other side Pry out down here and pull out on this connector to get it started. Pull with my finger on this one. Okay, we're there. And then just carefully go in and use just little caps. Pry that one out. going from the bottom if you do scratch something less more difficult to see okay then right here kind of put your screwdriver in up top you actually see a little space where the screwdriver goes and pry this bezel out now there's five Phillips screws to remove one there one there there one right there and then one right down here at the bottom now I'm going to fast forward as I remove those five screws um, they're I mean they're obviously easy to remove because they're just screws but they do try and kind of st stay in there so as you're pulling them out or as you're turning them counterclockwise you might have to kind of reach in with your fingernail and pull them out uh, otherwise you know just make sure that um, if you can't get them out of the panel, just make sure that when you pull the panel off um, and if you drop them, you just recover them before you go to the next step. Okay, once you have those screws out, then just kind of lift up on the panel and bring it out. And on the back side, there's two connectors. Pull back on a couple of tabs here, disconnect that, and then pull up on this tab and disconnect that. Off. I'm going to fast forward here as I do some additional prep. Uh, you have to remove the speaker, which is just three Phillips screws. Uh, then you pull the speaker out, and there's a connector on the back. You just push a tab and disconnect it. Uh, then there's also a small junction block down below that's just held on with one Phillips screw. Remove that and let that hang down. And then slowly pull uh, your water shield down. Be careful not to rip or tear it. Um, you do have to pull it out from the door handle and back and out of your way. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to use a punch with a nice point on it, okay, and you want to knock out the center of these rivets. Okay, so now you can see the center's gone.
and just fast forward as I do that last one and then there's two down lower on the door that you want to remove as well. These are cable activated regulators and actually mine works fine. So what I'm going to do is when your regulator goes your cable will basically snap and you'll when you press the um, button you'll hear like a grinding, you'll hear the motor working and sometimes you'll hear a grinding noise or you'll just hear the motor work but the window doesn't move. So I'm going to turn my key on and like I said my regulator works fine so I'm going to move it up. If you had a broken window regulator you would be able to move it by hand at this point. So that's what you want to do, you want to move it by hand to the same position I'm moving mine to. what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to basically move your window to about this level and pull your inside door handle off I'm taking the screw out move the handle forward pull it out okay and then just kind of pull it up and twist it forward and what you see is you have two more rivets holding the window so you'll want to, just like you did with the other, you want to use the same process and knock the centers of the rivets out and then drill them out. Okay, so now I'm going to use a 3 8 drill bit and I'm very lightly going to drill these rivets. They're nice soft aluminum so they should come apart pretty easy but you don't want to push hard because you don't want them to spin around. rivets you have to drill out and all. You see I'm doing the two um, for the uh, window to the regulator as well as the other ones uh, that hold the regulator to the door. Okay now your window motor is connected right here so pull down on this tab here and out. Okay you want to take this inner weather strip Now you need to take your punch again and just knock out the rest of the rivet from the window. Okay. Okay, now what I do is once you get it loose from your regulator, let it down, let your window down. Okay, let the front go down in and pull the back one out. I'm just gonna kind of want to get, get it wants to get caught on the regulator. Slide your window up and out. Now at the top, there's two 11 millimeter bolts. Use a socket and ratchet. Now I'll just speed up here as I remove those two 11 millimeter nuts. Have those bolts out. Pull your regulator back out. Okay. Bring the whole assembly. Okay, new regulator from 1A Auto. Put it right in. Put in. Okay, and then up 
here. Just kind of looking in and hang these two studs so they come right through here. And I'm going to take these nuts. Now fast forward here is I just uh, take those nuts and start them on with my fingers and kind of get them finger tight to hold things in place. Okay, now we're going to take so some hardware store bought uh, little screws, a washer, and a nut. And at the bottom, put those in, washer on the back side. And start, and I have locking style nuts so it'll be less likely to come apart. Okay, I'm going to fast forward here, and what I'm doing quite simply is rather than using rivets to put it back together, I'm just using uh, nuts and bolts that I sourced at the hardware store. Um, obviously, if you had rivets and a rivet gun, you could go that route. Um, most times, this is easier for people though. Now before we tighten it up, pull our lead around and pull it through. Plug it right in. Now I'm using a wrench on the back side and just a little screwdriver on the front side. Tighten these up. Okay, and just like before, just, just going to speed it up here as I go over all the bolts that hold both the rail um, to the door as well as the uh, window motor to the door and make sure they're nice and tight. And additionally, use my 11 millimeter socket and ratchet and tighten up the two uh, top nuts that hold the top of the rail to the door. Okay, now take your glass, make sure they're clear of the old rivets here. Okay, now take your glass, make sure that there's no remnants of the old rivets. Okay, now take your glass and you can see there's kind of a remnant of the old rivet in there, just using a screwdriver. And believe it or not, it's actually very difficult to break this glass. So now use pliers or screwdriver and make sure you pry out or remove um, any of the remaining parts of the rivets from the window. Now feed the glass in, kind of nose down first. Make sure you get it on the outside of the regulator. Okay. And kind of down in, twist it up in place. Okay, I'm looking right through the speaker hole here. Make sure that the nose gets into the channel correctly. Okay, and then look back here. Make sure that the rear of the window goes into the channel correctly. Okay, and then slide it right up into place so that you can put bolts right through here. Okay, now what you're going to need is a couple of longer bolts. Again, right from the hardware store and sorry, uh, installing these right through the regulator and into the window. And again I'm going to speed it up here as I, like I said, I just put the bolts right through the regulator into the window and then the washers and lock nuts on the back side and tighten them up uh, nice and firm. Now with everything hooked back up, we can turn our key on, put the test, make sure everything works good. 
speed it up here as we uh, disconnect our switch panel and then take that upper weather strip and press it back down on the place. And after putting our inner door handle in and sliding back into place, put the screw back in and then put your water shield back up in place. Remember to feed uh, the wiring harnesses through. And we'll keep the speed going here as we put the speaker back in place and the small junction block and use the screws um, to secure them. And you can see I did use a little bit of uh, painter's tape just to kind of help hold the front of the um, water shield on. Okay, your door panel is kind of designed with hooks on the bottom. You want to lift up your harnesses. And you can see that the bottom hooks kind of clip on. And you can put your uh, door, uh, your trunk opener, plug that in plug this upper plug in okay lift your door panel up Bring your door panel up make sure that these harnesses are coming up through and make sure your door lock comes through lift the panel up a little bit and then it just kind of slides right down on And I'm going to speed it up here as I put the five uh, Phillips screws back in. Uh, the long ones go through the panel, the shorter ones go through that door pull. Uh, and just another tip, if you have trouble getting one in, um, you might want to take the panel back off. And on some of them there's kind of clips in behind and sometimes those clips can get shifted, which makes it hard to get those screws in. Uh, but they should go pretty much go right in. Okay, reconnect our harness leads and our mirror switch and then just kind of work this right down in push it against the door and down in place and these go back in place. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.